something crazy just happened. <laughs> Look, Daisy had her calf. Look at it. It's so cute. Where's Lola? Look, it's gray, white with some red on him. Look at Daisy's udder. So full. It's so cute. <laughs> Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, she's so cute, she's so cute, <laughs> hi, okay y'all, so I just got Daisy and her calf out of the forest. She was all back in there and then Lovable was here and then Mark is on Precious right now. He's keeping Lovable away, making sure he stays over here because he's kind of being protective right now as well. I forgot to tell y'all, the calf is a little girl. She is so cute, her coloring is so pretty. Our plan is we want to move Daisy and the calf inside of the barn because if not, she keeps going into the forest and the forest, it isn't clear under there. And then she was, the baby was getting caught in all the vines and the vines has thorns and she was kind of getting caught in there. So our best idea is just to get the calf and Daisy into the barn for the first couple days until they settle down until we, and then we can bring them in there. <laughs> but Fozzy, you aren't the baby anymore, are you? Hi. Oh, good girl. So that's what we're doing. Yeah, she had her baby in April. Now we can't name the baby Maybell. We're like, oh, Maybell, for it's a little girl, but it's not. It's a, Ew, she's born in April. Yeah, you did a good job on her. So the story was, y'all. I was, I was getting precious because I was gonna pony journey this morning in the pasture and go for a little ride with them too. And then I heard her mooing like crazy, and I heard Joey and other dogs barking like crazy. I'm like, oh boy, I'm much, she might be having her calf, and she was away from all the other cows into the forest, and so I. I got, <laughs> so I ran in here, Lovable was keeping a close eye on me though, and then I saw her, and she had her, and then I, I didn't see the calf at first, I just saw her, she looked like she was like pushing and stuff, and she was just moving, walking all over the place, and the dogs were barking, I was like, oh my soul, so I got Precious, hopped on her bareback, and I just flew all the way up to the house on her, told everyone, and then, oh the dogs, the dogs keep trying to come and chase Daisy and she gets all stressed out and she tries to run into the forest. We're trying to keep her out here because we're going to put her in the barn like I said. But yeah, the story was, and then I told everyone I came in here and the lovable tried to chase me and Mark and then we tried to get the baby on. <laughs> it was all crazy. But yeah, I'm kind of keeping my eye out because Joey and the other dogs are trying to get to the calf because they have addiction of chasing cows and it's stressing Daisy out. So yeah, we're just kind of hanging low and trying to get her in the barn so it's a crazy morning y'all oh she is the sweetest little thing she was in the forest stuck in vines and i grabbed her out and i rescued a little girl oh my goodness look at how cute oh my goodness she is the sweetest little calf ever she is so pretty look at that little girl she has red on her head like like Daisy, but she has kind of like the gray and white from underneath Lovable because Lovable has white all on his stomach. So she has such a pretty baby. All right, y'all, I'll update y'all soon. As of right now, we're just waiting to for dad and then we'll start moving him to the barn. So we got the little calf inside the barn here. I held her in the back of dad's truck and then I, I got her. We got her in the barn and now dad and the boys, they are trying to get Daisy. She's in the pasture. The dogs are being kind of annoying because they are chasing Daisy all over the place.
That was Matthew. He just left for work. He's going to work. Chubbs, are you done? Chubbs, are you all done? Want to come in now? All right, come on, Chubby. I'm sorry, y'all. We don't have lights. We don't have power. So sorry if it's like my shots and everything are all dark when I make oatmeal. It's because we don't have power. So we have this little propane stove top here that we're going to make oatmeal on. Let's check on Daisy's little calf. Oh, looks like she's doing well. How was the night? Oh, your first night together. Looks like they're doing really well. Yeah, we're only gonna be keeping Daisy and her little calf in here for a couple days and then we're gonna start putting on pasture. We really wanna make sure that they bond and and all that before we move them out and we'll still be bringing them in here throughout the night. We'll just have them graze out in the day and then bring them back in. Cause we really wanna make sure that that little calf stays safe. She's so tiny and so cute. Super exciting. I cannot wait to start milking. She delivered her calf a few weeks earlier than we expected. I'm going to be milking sooner than I thought she'd even have her calf. Isn't that so Daisy? <laughs> You're such a good mommy. Yes, you are. So yesterday was really crazy because we tried to get her in the barn. The first attempt didn't work, so we had to try something else. But during that time, our Highland Bull, little Scotty, he got out. <laughs> So we got him back in, fixed the fencing, and then had to come back to these two and get them in the barn. So it was kind of crazy yesterday, and by that time, it was 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And then I had to work with Indy, and then it was dinner time, and then the day was done. So it was pretty crazy yesterday. But it's a brand new day today, and I need to clean out our stall. I need to brush the Highlander cows. I need to work with those two fillies over there. They are just waiting for me, as you see. They're just standing right there. They're like, um, <laughs> when did the cows become first before me? <laughs> oh, sweet daisy girl. Alrighty, I need to clean out her stall. I probably could sit here and kind of just ramble on about some random stuff, but I need to get to work, y'all. The day has started. y'all we're about to head up here to a dairy to see if they have any little calves we're gonna be getting Daisy another little calf because she just has so much milk that I mean we could milk her here in a couple days and that's my plan is to milk her but she just has so much milk and that little calf she you know can't drink it all so that's why we're getting another calf because she could definitely feed another calf if not she could feed uh, probably two more calves but we're just be sticking to one here and we're doing it right now because you have to do it within the couple days that they have the calf, their own calf, because if not, then they most likely won't accept it because all of her mother, motherly instincts are in right now and she'll most likely take in any little calf. So that's what we're about to do. We're praying, we're wanting to get a little bowl for beef. So let's pray that they have them, a little bowl. We don't even know if they have any calves. So we're just gonna drive up there. Good thing it's not that far away. We just drive up there and see if they have any calves. That's right, they have a little bowl. And yes, as I was saying with her udder, it's so full. She could get an infection because she has so much milk and she's just like, yeah. Her udder's so full and so tight and full of milk, it could, she can get an infection because it's too much milk. But anyways, we're gonna head up to the dairy. That's where they have a little calf. 
And y'all, we still do not have power. It's been four days. Oh, my soul, still no power. We got the generator running still. We've been cooking on our little propane stove top thing. It's been okay, but you know, <laughs> we've been using flashlights, set them up in the bathroom. <laughs> but we've been taking showers. I'm gonna go over here. Okay, that's better. We've been taking showers in our RV. Thank the Lord we have our RV that we can take showers in there. It's been really nice. <laughs> but it does bring back so many memories. It's like you step in the RV, it's just like your face just gets slammed with so many memories that you've made <laughs> showering in the little shower. Uh, it's been fine, but it will be nice to have our power back on. And y'all, with no power, we have no internet, so I can't like post videos or anything like that. So, it's gonna have to wait. Oh my goodness. Joey. Joey. What are you doing? What are you doing, Jojo? You are all muddy. You're all muddy. Alright, y'all. I think we're heading up here to Dairy soon. I think all the boys came outside. I can hear them. So, y'all, we went to the dairy that was near us, and they didn't have any little calves. None at all. So we're going to be going up to this other dairy. It's like two hours away. It's a bit of a drive, but they have a couple bull calves there and they also have heifer calves there. So we just hooked up the horse trailer and we're on our way. Now's the time to do it if we want to get a little calf. He's so pretty. Yes, sir. Mm. Yes, he's good. You're oh. heavy. <laughs> We're home, y'all. The crazy story, y'all. So when we went to this dairy, we went the back. We went the back road, and then we're like, "Oh, last time we came from this way, because that's the same dairy we got dairy uh, <laughs> that we got Daisy from." So we, yeah. So we went the back way this time. We're like, "Oh, let's just go the way that we came last time." You know, on the way back home. So we went that way, and the road was like flooded, like crazy flooded we already were a few uh, miles away from the dairy mom couldn't turn around with the horse trailer mom can't really back up the horse trailer so we tried that it didn't work there's like it's on like these back roads there's like no one there can't turn around can't back up and we don't really want to go through this rushing water so we were kind of like stuck <laughs> like we tried many things but i thought oh maybe because we were kind of at force we thought Oh, maybe if we kind of take off the trailer, the mom could turn around. We can go back to the dairy, ask for help. Or, But thank the Lord, y'all. This guy in this dump, big old dump truck came, and he helped us get through the water to the other side. And we got the little calf home here. I'm kind of just sitting here watching to make sure he eats from Daisy and that Daisy accepts him. He hasn't shown much interest in wanting to eat, but he's got to be hungry. I mean, this little calf here, the Daisy's real calf, she's been up and down nursing, and he kind of just been laying down, so I'm kind of wanting to make sure he eats so he's okay. If not, we're going to have to bottle feed him. But y'all, we named the two calves. The little bull calf, his name is Oreo, and the little girl calf, her name is Cookies. So we got Oreo and Cookies. <laughs> so his breed is an Angus slash Holstein. So he's gonna be a big boy. You doing okay? You just sleepy? Yeah, you've had a long day, haven't you? Just look how full Daisy's udder is. Look at that udder. Look at that udder. Crazy udder. She's been getting a lot of milk. <laughs> you gonna come see your friend? You gonna come to hide me or something? <laughs> Sweet girl. So y'all, it looks like Daisy is not letting Oreo nurse. I thought she definitely would have because she really likes him, you know, she'll lick him and lay next to him, but she just won't let him eat. 
So that means we're going to have to bottle feed him. And y'all, I seriously do not mind it at all. I love bottle feeding him. He's so, so cute. I just love when he drinks from the bottle. And it's not that big of a deal because I have to milk her anyway. So all I have to do is pour into a bottle and feed him. And I seriously don't mind it. But anyways, y'all, let's go outside and let's go feed little Oreo and milk Daisy. Super exciting news, y'all. I just came in for Milk and Daisy, and me and Mark, we bottle fed little Oreo, and then I went back outside because me and Mark, we had to fill up the chicken feed, and that's all done in the barn. And while I was driving the lawn tractor down there, I saw little Oreo nursing from Daisy, and she was letting him just eat. So that is super awesome. It doesn't seem like I'll have to bottle feed him anymore. We'll have to keep a close eye. I already got his, uh, I got already milk Daisy for his night feeding also. So I have two bottles and they're both half a gallon and then we've been giving him a gallon each meal and we do it twice a day. So I think what I'll do is I'll just give him like the one bottle tonight and then maybe one bottle in the morning and then just see how he is because he is nursing from Daisy. And then I'll just keep an eye on him and just, because from right now, from the window, from being out there, he's full on just, nursing from Daisy so that is super awesome but I already have the milk in the bottle so I might as well just give it to him but I'll give him like one bottle and one bottle tomorrow morning like I just said so yeah y'all that is super exciting we won't have to bottle feed him anymore I guess it's less work for me even though I did enjoy it, it I didn't really care but I guess it's better for the cow especially if he's going to be kind of our beef cow like if he doesn't bond too much with us because he's already a little rascal like he already comes and like tries to head by you. Now when he's tries to size, that won't be so cute anymore. <laughs> so it's actually probably better that he's kind of more just, I don't know, you know, getting his food from the cow. <laughs> you know what I mean? But anyways, y'all, that's it for today's video. Thank you for hanging out with us today. It was a crazy couple days of Daisy surprising us with her little calf and us getting this little boy and him not eating and then bottle feeding him for a couple days. So it's been a kind of a whirlwind a couple days, but it seems like everything's all settled down now. So that's super awesome. So yeah, y'all, thanks so much for watching and I pray you'll have a really blessed day and I'll see y'all soon. Bye.